Hola guys, welcome back to TND TV. And on today's video, we're gonna be doing a comparison video. Um, we're gonna be doing the Auntie Anne's pretzel dogs. So these are the frozen kind, as you can see. We're gonna compare how they taste compared to the ones that you get out of the mall. So I'm gonna bring you along in the kitchen with me as I prepare these, um, put them in the microwave, and I will be putting it in the air fryer, but you can use the oven. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. What you say now? What you do now? T and Lee, and we back with the crew now. Crap shrimp, and you know we review now. Cooking up all this real nice food now. What you said now? What you need now? Look on green screen HD now. Go ahead and subscribe, join the family. T and Lee is the place to be. All right, family. So this is what it looks like. They are the Nathan's Famous Pretzel Dogs. It's five full-size beef hot dogs wrapped in Auntie Annie's pretzel roll. So as I told you in the beginning, we're gonna be comparing and seeing how these taste compare to the ones that you get out of the mall. I believe this was like maybe seven, eight, no more than $9 for all of it. Something like that. Okay, so for the oven instructions, it says to preheat the oven to 400 degrees to remove the pretzel dolls from the wrapper. Place one to three pretzel dogs in the microwave safe plate. It wants you to microwave it on high. And then um, I guess if you're doing all three, you would do, do it for three minutes, of course. Next, you're going to place the pretzel dog on a nonstick baking sheet. And then it wants you to bake for like four minutes. But for me, the last step will be the air fryer instead of the oven. So let's open this up. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you take it outside of the package. I guess I'm some frozen. I'm gonna take them out of the plastic. Alrighty, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the microwave. I did smell them. And they smell pretty good. Already. So let me go ahead and put it in the microwave and I'll take it back out. Okay, so I, I just pulled them out of the microwave and I'm gonna transfer them to the air fryer. Alrighty then. So I'm gonna put these on two minutes and see if that's good enough. So I'll go ahead and close that. All right guys, so I just took them out and that's what they look like. Now the big deciding factor is the taste. Oh Lord, let's see. All right guys, so I'm back. And that's what they look like. I gave you a little close up shot so you guys can see. And of course on my plate I have some ketchup and mustard because that's how I normally eat the Auntie Anne's uh, pretzel dogs. So, I will say from first glance, they don't look <laughs> exactly, or they don't look um, shiny, like the Auntie Anne pretzel dogs that you see in the mall, and I'm assuming that's because I put it in the air fryer. Um, it seems a little crunchy, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if it would have made a difference if I did put it in the oven, because usually my air frying oven gives me the same result, so that's why I chose to use that. Um, but we're gonna see, so let's go ahead and bless the food. Lord, I thank you for this food. You bless me, as you bless me as I eat it. Bless the nutrition to my body. Please don't let your home day to come to me for eating this food, drinking this drinking your Sunday's name, I pray, amen. Amen. So yeah, so this will be the first of many comparison videos. We do have a couple more in mind that we wanna do, comparing um, like different foods from frozen to fresh. You know, when the manufacturer packages them and freezes them to see if it's that much of a difference and if so, if it's still worth buying. So that's the purpose of these and we thought this would be a, a great way to start it off. So I do have some brisk tea over here. Yes, and let's get started. So let's see. Here you go. It's hot. Alrighty. So if y'all know me, yeah, I know I like ketchup more than mustard. I like a little bit of mustard, but not a lot. So let's dip it in there. Yeah, I hope I'm not too bright. Why don't you start off? The Nathan's hot dog is still the bomb. <laughs> Nathan's makes some really good hot dogs. The beef ones, 
I think all their hot dogs are all beef. I think still that's the Nathan's hot dog. Now the pretzel. It's not as crispy. It still has that pretzel taste. Just not as crispy. Um, I don't know. I know the um, instructions say for you to microwave these before you put them in the oven, but I don't know if I would do that. Because I think, like, the microwave gives things, especially breads and things like that, it gives it, like, a chewy. And it's not just because this is pretzel. I know pretzels are normally chewy, but it gives it, like, a different. You guys know what I mean. You know what I mean. I think this would have been much better if it went straight into the oven on the air fryer and skip the microwave. But it's still not bad. But it would have been a lot closer to the original taste. But these aren't bad. It's still good. The flavor is still very good. Does it taste exactly like a to end in the mall? Of course not. We didn't expect it to. We just want to know if it's close. Mm. Yeah, it is. Whenever I'm in the mall, if I do decide to stop by the Auntie Anne's, is it Auntie Anne's or Auntie Annie's? Because I always call it Auntie Annie's, but it's spelled A N N E S, so I'm thinking it's Auntie Anne. Whatever it is, whenever I stop by, I used to, uh, I love these. I love to get these. They're kind of pricey if you ask me. To me, it is. They're like, but like, it's not $4. Over $4, close to $4 for one. They also have the mini ones that's in the cup. Those are good too. Oh, my hot dog falling out. <clears throat> But yeah, y'all. Those Nathan hot dogs. They're really good. Some would argue they're the best hot dogs, hand, hands down. <laughs> I think they are, if not one of the best ones. They're, they're one of the best hot dogs. So how many of you guys, whenever you go to the mall, actually stop by the Auntie Anne's? Because they have at least like two in every mall, probably more, but I always see at least two.
what do you get there when you stop by there? I got um when I go, I either get these, the mini um the mini ones like these, the mini pretzel dogs. Also, they have um of course regular pretzels. They have the salted pretzels. And I think they have like a pizza pretzel and then they have the cinnamon and sugar. I like that one. I've never had the other ones. But um, I like the cinnamon and sugar. So I love those. I like to get the small ones that come in a cup. And then you get like a, um, which you have to purchase separately, which is so crazy because the price is already so high. Um, then you can purchase the little, what is it, icing to dip it in. I love that. Like... When it's, you know, when it's that, when it's your girls, you know, ladies, when it's that time. Oh my God, it's the best. That's a perfect snack. Y'all good, like, right? mm. What else? I know a lot of people order the lemonade, they have like, you know, I'm not a lemonade drinker. I know, I know. Maybe shopping or some, cause I love lemons. But I'm not a lemonade drinker. I'm, for some reason, I love lemons on everything, but I don't like lemonade. It like leaves a film in the back of your mouth. It's like too tart like to enjoy as a drink. I don't know. I like lemon water, like take water, squeeze a little lemon in it. Just a little bit. That's good, but like a lemonade, mm, mm Don't care for it. Unless it's Kool-Aid. <laughs> lemonade Kool-Aid is the lemonade I really like. Everything else is too bitter. I leave that film like in the back of my throat. Yeah, I had a bird chirping. You're loud. But anyway. Um, yeah. I don't like, like, lemon, like, meringue and pie. I don't like that stuff. I don't like pie anyway, so. Ugh. Oh, custard. Ugh. Anyway. Um, I don't know what kind of lemonade it is that they sell, but I know one is, like, pink. And then I see the regular one. But people like it. They really like it. I see them order it a lot, so. I'm assuming they like it, right? So as you guys can tell, I like it. <laughs> I just want to step more. I just let it sit right with the other one. The actual um, pretzel got a little crispiness to it. And like the crispiness came, which is a plus. That's good. Mm. I mean, so as it pertains to um, comparison, would I recommend you buy these? If you want to unsheet ends, pretzel dog, I would say yes. Mm hmm. I would recommend these. I would say after you take them out of the oven or air fryer or however you do it, I would suggest you let it sit for like a minute or two minutes before you start eating them for best results. <laughs> that way everything can set because like as this that it actually got better.
And of course, this is my honest opinion. No one's paying me to say this. Although that would be nice. <laughs> So starting off these comparison videos, I would say I'll do it on a regular scale, one to five. I would say from one to five, how close is this to the regular one? Sorry, mm -hmm. that's true. I would give this a strong four. Strong four. Pretty close. <clears throat> and still delicious. It's a really good flavor. The pretzel kind of has like a sweetness to it. Not overly sweet, just a hint of sweetness. I can taste it. Mm. And that was my lunch. <laughs> mm. Will I buy this again? Yes. If I'm really wanting the um if I'm really wanting the pretzel dog, I will buy these. Alright guys, so that's it for my comparison video. I hope you guys like these videos. Um, if so, make sure to let us know down in the comments below and thumbs up the video. And we'll do more like these. We do have um, a couple more coming. Um, <clears throat> a couple things that we have seen. So, hopefully you like these. So, we'll go ahead and do the rest of them. Um, yeah, again, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment. And subscribe to TNL TV because it's the place to be. Let me know down below if you have tried these before out of the store and what else comparisons that you would like to see us do down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget to check out the Epic Empire. Links down in the description box below. Alright, y'all. See you next time. Peace.